What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. So, we are finally here, the Z Comics. Now, thinking about it, it's probably been about four weeks in the making. I planned to watch these about a month ago, and I had quite a few people in the comics section say to me, you cannot, you cannot do the Z Comics without going through Shen, which I've done, oh, and you also need to go through Akali, and finish off everything you can get your hands on in terms of Jin. So now I've done all of them, plus Z, I've covered every single League of Legends champion related to this comic. Well, technically, maybe not all of them, but the main ones. So, uh, yeah, here we are. So, basically, my logic is now the six episodes or six comics, should I say, in total. Now, initially, people were saying, are you going to do one episode a week? And if so, that's six weeks. Six weeks is kind of long to go through the whole thing. And they're right. So, what I'm basically going to do is I'm going to be covering all six over the next two weeks. So, I'm going to do three this week. So today is Thursday, so I'm going to do episode one uh, or comic one today. Then I'm going to do one tomorrow, which is Friday, and then I'm going to do one on the Saturday. And then I'm going to repeat and do exactly the same thing next week as well. So four, five, and six. Hopefully that makes sense. So uh, yeah, this is the first one. And yeah, it looks so good. I mean, to give me a second just to appreciate the artwork on the actual front page. How good does this look? I mean, come on. And it's presented by Marvel. Marvel and League of Legends. And based off this front, this, just the artwork on the front page, I mean, it's, it's a crying shame that there's only three, I think there's only three comic series on League of Legends website. There's this one, there's the one on looks, and there's a new one for the KDA team as well. Yeah, I know already I'm gonna want more. I know already. But anyways, uh, yeah, this is number one of six. Um, yeah, that looks so good. So we have here, obviously, Shen. We have Akale, we have Kane, we have Zed. Jin is up there in the background, looking like Thanos. And this guy here, don't know. Don't know who that is. <laughs> Anyways, so let's get into it. Right. Nice. Ionia. 12 years ago, the Empire of Noxus invaded. So this is the region of Ionia. Right, okay. Their armies were defeated only after many years and at great cost. Shaken by the war, these lands exist now in an uneasy peace. In these turbulent, changing times, a man who has been called a patriot, a hero, a prior, oh, yeah, prior and a criminal finds himself at a crossroad. Ooh, Zed. So, okay. Yeah, this looks nice. Look at the artwork there as well. Oh, 2019. So I wonder when the actual comic came out. I mean, it's got their 2019 right games, but I'm not quite sure if that's when the actual comic came out. I'll find out after this. Okay. It is said, though your mother gave you life, it is your master who bid you to stand for a purpose. For this you owe fealty. Thus, a student who betrays his master is like a whim. Okay, I'm gonna say, say worm. I think it probably is very similar to worm. I served Great Master Kusho, the Eye of the Twilight, leader of the King Cow Order, who banished the Zago, Zigao, defeated the Kithil Vestaya tribe, and captured Kadajin, the so called Golden Demon. So, this is obviously some kind of statue here. I don't know who that is of. This looks like a young, it's so cool to see Jin without his helmet on, to see his face. This looks like a young Jin, and this is the Hoyling Mountain Roads, Southern Zion Highlights. Okay, Highlands, sorry. Master Kusho was the father of Shen, my best friend. I lived with them for most of my life. Master Kusho trained me, adopted me. He was everything I aspired to be. Master Kusho made me who I am, and then, Hmm. I killed him. Right, so this statue here is Master Kusho. Okay, who's Shen's father? Why? What makes you think you have the right to know why? Hmm. I will fight Master Altheon alone. Yes, Master. But I warmed up. <laughs> so that's obviously Kane. Althon was my master's nephew, Kane. A dignified end isn't what our contacts wanted for him, Master. 
We're supposed to leave his body on the road. Okay. Why here? Dunno. The Navarai Brotherhood set up the meeting, said the normal said the normal stuff. Althon opposes expanding militarization in the region's council, but they actually had some money, so I didn't ask too many questions. Hello, Worm. You cannot run, Master Althon. So okay. I do not run, Govos. Govos. I will give you a fair fight. Right, okay. So, and I should believe you. Oh, so he's got the same abilities kind of as Irelia. With your Brygans eager to intervene, it doesn't matter. You are only a, I'm going to call it a worm. And why does he call him Govos? Is that maybe his name before? Then, what should I call you, peasant? You betrayed my uncle. Right. So the name Usan is no longer yours. I am called Zed. By whom? The Yanelli? Your little band of vipers? They are filth, like your scars left over from the war. So I will offer them no mercy after I kill you. Right, so this clearly takes place after um, Zed killed Shen's father, Kusho. And this looks like, obviously, Kusho's um, brother seeking revenge. You can see as well, you've got Zed and his crew. The, um, I forgot what they're called now, the Shadow Dudes. But there's quite a few of them there. So I recognise Kane. I'm not quite sure about the rest of them. But maybe they'll be flushed out in a little bit in the, uh, in the rest of the comic. So, ha. Ha. <laughs> yeah, typical that, it? There we go. That's Zed doing his thing there, disappearing. Dissolving into shadows. Clever. But you still over overestimate your skills, boy. Let's see what Master Kusho taught you. Whoa. Okay. Fool, I am more than a king cow. Shadow magic doesn't make you better than Kusho. What? Die. Oh, you were never my master's equal. Huh, that is the end of that. <laughs> so it is a nice superhero landing and doesn't even turn back round to see what's going on. Yeah, cool. Ironically as well, his uncle, or Kusho's brother, is killed in front of his statue. Ironic. Move out. Whoa, okay, border of whatever that is, forest, uh, that, what the heck is that? I would say, maybe it's Shen doing his thing with these demons in the spirit realm. Talking some stuff, obviously, I'm not going to attempt to try and pronounce. That looks crazy though, that, doesn't it? Why? Yep, boom, does his thing, takes it out quite nicely. I am sorry, spirit, this is only the only way I can find, I can end your pain. Master Shen. <laughs> Once again, it's the first time I'm seeing Shen without obviously his mask or helmet on it as well. Yeah. It is good to see you, Akali. Have you come to help me calm the spirits of the forest? Two nights ago, Zed and a small group of Yanelli ambushed Althon and on Holland Mountain Road by the sculpture of your father. Something has angered the spirits of the forest. As the Eye of Twilight, my duty is here. He killed Althon, and last I checked, he killed your father. I brought you a horse. So clearly, obviously, she wants revenge, or she's suggesting we should get revenge, which kind of makes sense. But typical Shen, obviously, it's all about balance. A horse leading to what? Revenge? That sort of passion is dangerous. We must guard against its influence. Yeah, you mentioned that a couple of a couple dozen times before, before I left. So, yeah, you mentioned that a couple dozen times. For I left your Kinkau order. This is our first opportunity to catch Zed in years. A day's ride. I know the town he went to, and he has only six men. <laughs> he is only six men with him. Maybe I can't take them alone, but not not by myself. But I am going after Zed. So, my old master, you getting on that horse or not? Hmm. Okay. We should have taken Althon's spear. We could have sold it. We aren't thieves. The operation at Ganjan Temple goes well. 
but it's costly if you don't want to beg our patron. Your Master Zed? I am. A man wants to meet you in the village north of here. Follow the red sands path up into the highlights. You know the place. Hmm. I don't duel with peasants. He's rich. Wants to thank you. Said I should give you something. What? Ooh. A spirit touched scal scal scalpel. The grip's got a mark on it. The mark of the king cow. Why does it glow now? Long ago, it was attuned to my spirit. Mm. Yeah, he said it would mean something to you. So obviously we can't trust her. What do you mean, no more credit? <laughs> obviously they're getting merry in there. Sounds like Jovin's drunk. <laughs> you wouldn't have a town without guys like me. <laughs> when the foreigners, inv when foreigners invaded, when the war came, where in the hells were you? Set him down, Joven. Or Joven. Hmm. Why? Look at that. So, most of my followers are boys, really like Cain, raised by the war. When the foreigners invaded, after they lost everything, they became warriors. I think that's another round of free drinks. <laughs> Look at this guy here. He ain't messing around, either. he's getting out of there. They know nothing else. This is what separates them from normal people. I am old enough to remember times before the war. People say my nation wasn't ready when the foreigners attacked because we were too innocent. But when the war came, I was ready because I had lost my innocence long ago. Which I think maybe ties in, oh there we go. Which ties in nicely with obviously the fact that when they, I think when they found Kadijin, he escaped. I think from that point onwards, there was kind of resentment for in Zed that built up. I think that's maybe what he's alluding to. Anyways, we'll find out. 19 years ago, they arranged it, her dad and mine, like we were some northern peasants. Sorry, no offence. Govos, how am I going to ask her that? Does she know? Shen, like maybe she'll be happy about it. I mean, you're happy about it, right? So clearly, obviously, this is a young Shen and uh, Zed. I can't imagine anyone else, but I, I should have been the one to ask her. You know what she's like. Now she's going to hate me forever. You weren't going to ask. Eh? If you one is marrying you, it was going to happen anyway. Hmm. Joking. Come on, she likes you. Look after we catch this demon. Right, there we go. So I take it that's obviously there, um, Shen's father in the background. You can just ask her, okay? Just tell her. What is that? Master Kusho, father, come quickly. Hmm. Yep, them houses are on fire. What kind of magic does this? This is what the golden demon is known for. It's centered on the inn. The other buildings mainly um, burned. The fire was the fire was to set a trap for people in front of the inn, so they would be forced to watch. I've never heard of an evil spirit waiting an audience. Oh, help! Shen, go to the nearest temple, get healing supplies. Govos, so Govos is basically Zed. Um, grab whatever sleep sleep route we have. Okay, so it looks like here then. Uh, the one with the light hair. Okay, so this is basically Zed, I think, and this is Shen, by the looks of it. Whoa. Get the wounded to, to that farmhouse. Hmm, look at that. It was a flower. It was a flower. It was a flower. I saw. I saw. Okay, hours later. I said, go to the next one. If I stop, I'll be the same as killing him. So he's doing something there to, to help him out. In the time it takes to save that one man, three will die. He dies, they live. Learn this lesson. But I can, I bring, bring me the next one. So obviously this is obviously um, Zed, what he was talking about, where he's losing his innocence. Keep the bandages tight, change them every two days. Next, 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 right. Help me with this, with this leg. Ooh, bone saw. Hold her down. The flower, the flower, the flower. Right, this is grim. You did well. 
she'll never walk again. She will live. Sometimes you must lose the leg to save the patient. Sometimes you must lose ones to save many. This is the lessons of the scales. Right, so obviously this is Kusho trying to explain to Zed the, the way of the twilight. You have done well, student. Better today than even my own son could have done. Where he still hes hesitates or falters like a child, you do not. When the time comes for me to step down, I should choose you. Oh, okay. Master, Govos is a peasant's name. Today you have earned a name worthy of being a successor. A name worthy of the next eye of twilight. There is a word for the strength of compassion. It is a word for the pillar that bears the heaviest load. Men will call you that. Men will call you Usan. Huh, okay, so clearly it means a lot to Zed at the time. So this is why it's interesting. Clearly, obviously, he respects his master and he's appreciative of obviously what his master's given him, but then he kills him. So obviously we'll find out in the next few comics why and what pushes him to do that. But it looks like he's got three names, don't he then? He's got Zed, which he currently has as his name. His original peasant name was Govos, and his name that um, Kusho's given him is Yusan. Right, okay, present day. I don't see a rich man coming here. No, a rich man did not invite us here. Master, we chased Karajin for years as the suffering he wrought grew. The laughter Shen and I had so often shared silenced. You should come see this. I think it's two bodies. What is that? A demon turned their faces into something kind of horrible. Flower. And I knew who the victims were. So you can clearly see everybody else, this person has been sick, everyone else is shocked to see um, the work of Kadajin, but it's all, all too familiar to Zed. The first victim was the woman who lured us here, the second I met 19 years ago, when my master commander commanded me to cut off all oh, of her leg in order to save her life. Wow, that's dark, he went back and killed them. Hmm. Before I saw the bodies, I knew. The killer we had mistakenly called the Golden Demon was back. Kadajin had returned. <laughs> Our performance begins. Wow. Okay, okay. That was a really good start to number one of six comics on set. Yeah, that was good. So really interesting actually to see the, the past of Zed. I found out a little bit obviously about him in his bio and his story, but good to see a little bit more detail about his past, his connection to Kusho and also to Shen as well, and the three names he had in the past as well. So yeah, I'm going to leave it here today guys on this one. This is going to be, or clearly this has been, part one. I will be covering part two tomorrow and part three on Saturday. So yeah, um, I will see you guys in the next one.